probably better that I record me rather than you again. Oh, were you doing <laughs> you that? Twice? You fool. It'd be it'd be better than recording you twice. Yeah. 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 Nobody recording wants two twice. of me. <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't know what that was. What was the joke? I don't know what the joke was. <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, how does this tie into the... How does this tie... In? Huh. I mean, to be fair, nobody wants one of our protagonists. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> there, there we go. All right, I'm bringing it back. I'm reeling it in, baby. <laughs> He was trying to protect you. Dogs, they're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Holy moly, look at that. All top shelf. It should make girls who are easier to meet. Can I ask you something? No. They need to come out with like a Dodge Neon of girls, you know? Something like 149 down, 149 a month. There are two types of people in this world. People who like dogs and people like Charlie. Oh. But Charlie's about to discover. Oh. If you're not in the mood, then I'll just go take the dog for a walk. Oh, oh no, oh, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll do it. Just how easy it is. I don't want to, but to stray. You know, it's funny. I started out thinking that the answer to all my problems would be to fall in love. Maybe all I needed was a dog. You're losing it, man. This spring. You act like you prefer her to me. I mean, she's great, but no, that's ridiculous. You're invited to discover. Thank God you still got me, buddy. Yeah, but you won't play the race from room to room game. That's a good point. A whole new breed of romantic comedy. You gotta let it go, man. There's plenty of other dogs out there. Fleas? Yeah, I think the goddamn dog gave me fleas. What do I do? All right, first of all, get off my bed. Heavy padding. This is the best thing that you could come up with, huh? Don't take it out on me because you're getting cock-blocked by a terrier. You want the nails clipped? It come with a price. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so we watched a movie called Heavy Petting. How's it going, everybody? By okay, we're just are we just doing it? Yeah, okay, we're doing it. All right, hi. This is Rough Cuts. This is Boinks. Yeah. That's Ilion. This is Rough Cuts. This is our podcast you where know. we watch movies with dogs in them, and then we rate the dogs at the end to save you the effort of knowing if they're good dogs. Yeah. I I don't know why we watched Heavy Petting as the film that would for sure no, tell well, you. You, but, you pick. You have to know because you picked it. I, I can't know. You picked it. Why did you pick effort. it? You can't blame me on. You can't blame me for this. I can. No. I can do what I want. <laughs> you can't stop me. This movie made me powerful. Yeah, I don't know. This movie's weird. This movie's fucking weird. Uh, we were talking about like I. I thought it felt like a, a Rob Schneider or Adam Sandler movie, and you were thinking it was more like. Always sunny, oh, yeah. but not funny. <laughs> yes. I have thoughts that I have collected since then about the It's Always Sunny premise. Yeah, but I think the biggest thing is, like, neither of us expect a movie called Heavy Petting to be good, right? No. 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 Yeah. Okay, so... That, it lived down to that. That's fair. And and this movie was really hard to, to get a hold of, actually, because it's been wiped clean from the internet. In most ways, it's not on streaming mm-hmm. anymore. Uh, you could buy a DVD, I guess, from eBay. Probably used. Yeah. You could buy one. You could pay you could spend the people involved a in ton this of money. money on this. Yeah, you could reward them. You could you could do that. That's a thing that's allowed. I legally, I can't stop you. <laughs> but as far as like finding the film to just watch it, it doesn't really exist on streaming. No, anyway. it's uh, part of the important thing about libraries. It's a preservation piece. Yeah, you need to keep glad, this. Glad that the Internet Archive, archive.org, actually saved this from destruction. Shout out to archive.org keeping, like, I don't know. I don't even know what this was dubbed in or, or subbed in. It was, it was English yeah, dub. We, yeah, we're not yeah. watching was... uh, an American dub this time. <laughs> No, no, sadly, this was, 
This was all done yeah. in original asshole, yeah. actually. Yeah. But uh, we were we were very upset at this movie. So let's start there. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. For a lot of reasons. And we were, we uh-huh. were upset. Like, how did this not tank everybody's career in this film? And I was looking at some reviews online in between watching. And it was actually the opposite. People were like, there's all these upcoming stars in this yeah. film, heavy petting. You yeah. look out for these stars in the future. And I'm like, look wait a minute. Ackerman. Yeah. Wait, what? Malin, who is the lead, the female lead, I guess. She went on to do a bunch of rom-coms and pretty bad comedies, as you can expect. Uh, but and Watchmen. She... And Watchmen. It... But that's yeah. funny, because she was supposed to be in 300. Not Watchmen. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know what happened there. Huh. But she was a, a Ford, the car company, mm-hmm. supermodel search Super, winner. Yeah, I was going to say she was a model. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. And then moved on. And like that's fine. I don't have a problem yeah, with that. Yeah, I don't know. I, the actors are not the issue here. For no. Me. No, I think the, the main kind issue of. is the writing. But we were saying nobody watched this because it, it came out on DVD. And mm-hmm. it was a straight-to-DVD movie. That is incorrect. This did get a theatrical release. Yeah, huh. uh, it opened theatrically in Italy on 120 screens. Okay, and it has the distinction of appearing in a film festival once in 2007. <laughs> hmm. According to their poster, because I went to the Wayback Machine and I checked out their website from 2007. <laughs> God, that's. <laughs> fantastic i this movie also has kevin sussman best known for his role in something i don't want to talk about uh we're not we're not touching it just mention it just mention it and run you know that you know that stick of cobalt 40 that says if you can read this drop it and run basically do that with this reference the big bang big bang theory, theory. But right, we're, he got, we run, run, run. Yeah, we're gone. Run away. Okay, run away. <laughs> there. But the the, the main on. thing is he was known for Ugly Betty, which was like pre Big Bang Theory, sure. Big Bang Theory ish, ish, ish. It's that type of jokes. And more importantly, it's Baby the Doll. Same, yeah. Baby Doll, who is a dog named Casper, who is yes. also well known <laughs> oh. as the dog in the campaign. That Walt Disney World did simulating Lady and the Tramp visiting the park. (laughs) Okay. And later became the official Sky TV dog. What? (laughs) What is that? (laughs) Sorry. They have an official... Okay. But here's the the tie-in. The dog trainer for Casper uh, are best known for the movie The Mask, but also, according to their website, the Adam Sandler movies Little Nicky and The Truth About Cats and Dogs. So that's the Adam Sandler tie-in where I'm like, maybe, maybe it was supposed to be that type of movie. No. The dog trainer. They got the dog trainer. Mm. Mm. No. It doesn't. This thing doesn't feel Adam Sandler to me enough. The because it doesn't have any gross out humor. There's no farts. There's no like. Oh, uh, there's the toilet water. Yeah, I guess, but that's not yeah. played up for comedy. I see that's yeah, it thing. is okay. What? Yes, is it, it is. is. Yes, is it? it's just he's the, just the a dog... dick about it. No, the dog licks the toilet I water, know. and then and then I saw I licks remember the face of the lady, and then Charlie's like, "Oh no, gross!" It's but toilet no... water. It's not. <sighs> and then I don't they know. kiss all sloppy, the gross. Adam... But Adam Sandler would do it in a very like it would be played up. This is done very straight. Like, oh, so he you're would be you're saying Adam Sandler be like... is better. Than this movie. And you would rather watch Adam Sandler movies. Is that what you're telling me? Is that the truth no, you're telling me? I said it's a different style. And as far as whether or not I would rather watch an Adam Sandler movie or this. Uh, 
50-50. <laughs> they're both different. I don't... I was like, you know, I mean, there are some Adam Sandler movies I'd probably rather watch than this. Yeah, so the, the tagline for so this, let's movie go is, into this movie is uh, both these guys are out to win her heart, and it's going to get rough. But the, the, here's the twist of what the one guy is. Yeah, the entire DVD cover is just pictures of the dog and Charlie, our main character. So mm-hmm. the cover is implying that it's the two dogs fighting, like, well, I guess Charlie's a dog. You no, know, he's a dog. He's a dog. <laughs> but in, like... <laughs> Oh, he's a dog. Oh, he's that, awesome. that in that yeah. way, yes. But the the dog and the guy are fighting for the girl's heart, is what it's it's implying. But that's not actually the yes. the plot, no. right? So I I have the plot synopsis on the back of the DVD. Okay, so, let's, let's see, see if this, this is really. accurate because I have so, my own ideas. So when Charlie Brendan Hines uh-huh. meets Daphne Malin Ackerman, yes. the girl of his dreams, already incorrect. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, already wrong. Yeah, okay. We're going off the rails a little bit. He never expects he'll have to battle past her pet dog, Baby Doll, to woo her. He is not trying to woo her. I need to point no. out. He just wants to have sex with her. Yeah. Uh, and just when it seems he can't beat the beast. Oh, <laughs> beat the beast. Uh, well, and I've all is lost. <laughs> Do that Something... in the of your own homes, please. <laughs> Something unexpected <laughs> happens. Charlie begins to fall in love with the dog himself. See, now this uh-huh. is getting yes. weird. But, but then, accurate. But also accurate. Yes. It, it was weird when the movie went this way, too. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Uh-huh. So he, fall, he falls in love with the dog, and realizes yeah, he never good. really mm-hmm. needed a girlfriend in the first place. Yes. Yep. Now, in order to keep accurate. hanging out with man's best friend, quote. Uh-huh. <laughs> in quotes. Yeah. Charlie must scrap together to keep the relationship with Daphne going at all costs, or risk losing them both. I, yeah. Does he want to fuck the dog? Is yes. That... Yes. What yes. does that mean? No. Yeah. Why? No. Why are the quotes around man's best friend? Well, because <laughs> you know. That uh, yeah. What? No, no, you don't need to elaborate. I'm just asking you know a basic question. You can't so just, I'm, be I'm, ju- just asking questions. We know the answers to. I'm assuming this is something the Italians love. <laughs> they assume that it's something the Italians love. I'm not making that assumption. You're making that assumption. 120 theaters. 120 Italian theaters. Well, th- like I said, they thought it would do well, the Italians. I'm not making, I'm not casting aspersions on the beautiful people of Italy like that. I am. <laughs> I know. I don't know I'm why. I'm judging. I'm judging really hard right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he wants to fuck the... So when we say that she's not the girl of his dreams, why do we say that? Well, it's because he meets her and he goes... To his roommate, who is a Rob Schneider knockoff from Mm -hmm. the Cobalt 40 stick show that we're not mentioning. Sussman, the actor. Yeah. yeah. So, he sees this woman, and then he goes back to his roommate, and he's like, Oh my god, she's the girl of my dreams. I love her so much. She's the best woman I've ever met. And then when he's around her... His way of talking is exclusively her being like, oh, yeah, I was at the vet today. And he goes, yeah, uh-huh. Ugh. 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 Rolling his eyes, looking yeah. over her. Uh, like, I And I then when he know, sees her boobs, he's like, a wooga boy. Yeah. Is this a yeah. direction problem or an actor problem? I don't know. Yes. I mean, yeah. so you could ham this up, like like I was saying, like Tex Avery and joke it. Sure, you they could. don't do that, and and then it would be cartoony and silly. That but, and that's why I'm saying the way it's it, not an yeah. Adam Sandler because Adam Sandler yeah. would cartoon it up. But the problem is, it's just creepy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's it's a big problem. Yeah, actually, this is a really you're, for your Adam Sandler side of things. 
this is if in a lot of ways if adam sandler wasn't cartoonish and gross and so it just stripped all of that away and the only thing that was left was the assholishness and misogyny <laughs> it was like yeah you just see it bare raw yes. like it's, that's it's what like, this is it's like if the revenge of the nerds were played with horror music yeah i like oh well, and i'm gonna steal her panties uh, and like this is like where that it goes yeah. yeah and this is where it goes into the it's always sunny thing so i more and more i'm like like even the twist the twist of him starting to like hate the girl and like the dog like that's an yeah. it's always sunny plot that that's a plot to it's always sunny this is dennis like we were is, saying yeah. like this this character is dennis because it's like all he wants to do is be with the girl but he thinks that that's love and the whole thing is he hates her the whole time. And he ends up like, in the, I'm like, this is just a premise for It's Always Sunny. But I'm like, but why am I hating this then? Because I would like this on something like It's Always Sunny. So, and I, it's because Always Sunny is quirky and these are just incels. Sure. But I also realize that the big problem in a lot of ways is that in It's Always Sunny, they realize that that makes Dennis a fucking monster person. Yes, yes. And he wouldn't get a reward at the end of it. At the end of it, he would lose all of it because of his weird, gross hangups. In this, he's rewarded with both the woman and the dog. And he's it's the hero. Fucking weird. Yeah, he's <laughs> the hero. He's a psycho. He is a straight up sociopath. This dude is scary. When I say they're incels, I, I guess I you should elaborate it. a little bit. I'm not joking. Like, no, this is creepy guy who thinks the world is built to keep girls like her away from guys like me. End quote. That's yes. Yep. That is a quote uh, about, in this about movie. women. He ogles uh -huh. and he's jealous of dogs being able to touch her boobs because he can't. I had, yep, I had a quote from his friend when they were talking about love. Because oh. his friend had a uh, woman over. Oh, that's a very he, serious topic, with. so I'm sure it's goes, very insightful, so. Well, yeah, I, he's like, well, like, no, it's different than, like, your girlfriend that's here. I love my girlfriend. And he's like, well, I love my girlfriend, too. Look at her breasts. Yeah. 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 And... Yeah. That doesn't, it didn't feel like it was played up for a comedy joke. And I mean, that's not super funny, <laughs> guys, actually. Uh, the main character, Charlie, is also, like, really non-confrontational, very meek, very, I, well, non-assertive. Yes, but, I, I mean... And I think that, like, you're right. He's shy. He's non-assertive. Like, he constantly wants things, but he's... he And he feels entitled to them. Like, that, this is where it's yes, bad. That's the it's problem. Because he's, it's because he's both... He wants things. Like, he'll, like, get a wrong order at a restaurant kind of thing or something. And then he'll just be like, whatever, it's fine. But then he... He storms out and like gives and like starts passing out bad reviews everywhere of them and doing shit like do you, he's manipulative and passive aggressive mm -hmm. about all the things that he wants rather than just telling people the thing that he wants to do. Like the uh the toilet water we were talking about earlier. The the toilet water yes. scene. So yes. the the dog licks the toilet. He notices the dog lick the toilet. This is during the scene where he's sneaking a sniff of her panties in the bathroom. Because yeah. he's a hero. He's sniffing her panties while they're on the date. And then the dog yeah. comes and drinks from the toilet. And, and he's like, wow, right. gross dog. Not realizing that what he is doing is gross. And that yeah. would have been the always sunny joke. That would have been, yes. Yeah. It, no. It feels like, yes. And it feels like there's a joke there. But also it's like, I don't think that they meant it that way. I think no. they just. No. It is it's not self-aware at all. No. Uh, yeah. But but during that scene, he noticed the toilet water, and then the dog licks her face, and they're about to kiss. So, 
instead of just saying, hey, by the way, the dog was just licking the toilet water, you might want to well, wash your face or, or something or anything. Or to stop the dog from licking her face in the first place. Literally he sees, anything. He sees the dog going over to her and he doesn't stop any of this. Yeah. No. But, and then when she's like, hey, is something wrong? Nope, nothing at all. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Like... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and then he and then he kisses her because she ki- like she kisses him and then he's like rubbing and, it on his shirt. And then he blames the dog. And I'm like, what? No, this is you. This is this a is you entirely problem. your own fault. Yeah, like yeah, you could have he could have stopped the dog from drinking the toilet water. Failing that, he could have stopped the dog from licking her. Failing that, he could have just told her, and then she could have cleaned up. Like, he doesn't do any of it. And then he gets no. fucking mad and entitled because his day is ruined because this fucking dog. And you're like, what? This is on you. Yeah, what? This, no. this is 100% a you problem. This is all you. There is no one else to blame, my dude. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody in this movie is likable at all. No. I, would say. I, I forget. Well, she, There's one... I think she is. She doesn't she's, do anything wrong. She's relatable. But she's also she's not a character. Yeah. I, I think the bigger she's problem just something is to she's be not a character. I think that's yeah. the big issue. She's an object and a thing to acquire. Yeah. So that's great. She's I an guess. obstacle to be overcome so that you can acquire the dog and also the other pet, the pussy. You know, because she has a cat at the end of it. She gets a cat later, yeah. Because you want a cat. But the the thing that... So, even with the dog plot... I, I find it really hard to talk about this movie because it's fucking infuriating. But yes, even with the yeah, dog plot... Yeah. Like, that yeah. happens 70 minutes in. In the last 20 <laughs> yes. minutes is when the guy decides, maybe I like the dog better. Mm-hmm. And that's resolved in 10 minutes. And then the last 10 minutes is just the end of the film. God, the worst thing is that, okay, so he ends up realizing that he actually does not like the woman, to, which we realized long ago from all of the eye rolling like and heavy in? sighing. And... Yeah, by the way, the, the eye rolling and falling asleep is when she's talking about her previous dead dog that he asked yes. about so that he could spend more time ogling her. Things like that, yeah. Like, anytime that she gets into any kind of emotions and stuff, he's like, ah. And rolls his eyes and, like, leans the other direction, like, makes gross puke noises to the camera, basically. Like, it's... Mm -hmm. So he obviously hates her. He finally, he ends up with the dog. And you're saying they resolve it in ten minutes. And you're like, okay, well, this would be a funny joke. Like, okay, now he ends up with the dog and not the woman. And she leaves. He ends up with both. That's how it should be. He, it, yes. it, it should have ended with him getting the dog, her going her own way with the other douchebag. Yeah. I guess. And and then he's like, wow, I like dogs now. I'm such a changed human. That would have been like a funny kind of twist ending in a way. Because then it's instead... a rom-com where he ends up with a dog. And that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that kind of works. Like, it, it would have been a character arc for him of like, oh, well, you've learned that, like, Maybe there's more to relationships than just ogle. Like, you could have done a thing of there's more to the mm-hmm. relationship than just she's beautiful and oh I want to have sex with her and so therefore you realize like how shallow you were being and then also like the dog coming into your life and stuff kind of opens yeah. you up to things. Like you could have done something there and then have her leave and be like, hey, listen, you know what? I wasn't the best boyfriend to you. This other guy who's a surgeon who's been trying to date you, he's. He's who you're meant to be with. Like, you know, he's funny and interesting and he obviously cares more about you. You guys should be together. And then, like, he takes the dog and, like, they they all grow as people and you could do something with it. And instead, he ends up with the dog and the surgeon guy. Sorry, this is killing me. The surgeon guy at the end is shown to be a dick because he's sitting there with his dog. And he goes, oh, there's no chicks coming after me. I thought you were supposed to be a chick magnet. Which they're playing as him being a horrible monster, but that's what every character in the movie's been doing, including our hero! So how does it make it good if he does it, but bad if the hero does it? Or, like, the other way around, you know what I mean. Yeah, Ah. and that line doesn't even make sense, because (laughs) Charlie's friend, the roommate, Mm -hmm. 
who's uh, played by Kevin Sussman, who needs to be reminded that he's in this fucking movie at every Stop moment. Stop reminding me of Kevin Sussman. <laughs> At the end, he's like, I have a dog who's a chick magnet, and I'm going to become a dog walker, so chicks will come up and talk to the dog and get close to me. And that uh-huh. scene is quirky and cute. Yes. But that's the exact thing the other guy was doing, which is seen as gross. Gross and evil. Yeah. So... Well, but he's a bad guy. What's the message here? I don't... Well, that guy's bad. But that guy's, does that it, guy's doesn't a bad the main guy. character say something like, I think guys like dogs because they don't talk back to his girlfriend? Yes, yes. Oh my fucking god, yes. That is a literal quote, yes. Mm. Like, mm. it's so unself aware of what is mm. happening in its own movie. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking line in this movie, man. Yeah. That is, that's so fucked. God, you're like just hearing it again. It's, oh my God. What the fuck? Like saying that in general is Mm. terrible, but saying it to your girlfriend. I don't think, no, he didn't say it to her. Didn't he? No, he said it to the roommate. Okay, when they it's were talking bad. about either it. way. Then, yeah, no, yeah. he was no, no, he wasn't saying it to her. He was saying it behind his girlfriend's behind her back, back because great because he needs to lie to her. No, 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 no. He wasn't. He never told her that he didn't like dogs. Like even after later on, he never admitted that he didn't like the dog from the beginning. No, he didn't. That's true. Yeah, no, he hmm. just stayed lying to her the whole time. He lied and manipulated her the whole movie. Didn't all of his friends basically tell him that you should always lie to girls and, and women? Yes. And, and yes. Until you're married, then you don't need to lie anymore, but... Yeah, there's there's also a racist character in the coffee shop... Which one? That you oh, okay, slash that one. Works at. Yeah, that one. Um, who goes, oh god, there is a story in my village... Uh, uh. That are saying in my village, I think is what he says, that you don't... Like you were saying, oh my god, now it ran out of my head. Uh, oh yeah, like you you don't lie to a woman until you've trapped her in marriage. Yeah, I think uh, his roommate uh, tells him to make sure to uh, lie and act like you care when talking to her also. Yes, yeah. No, they, they have constant conversations about that. Yeah. Like that's... Him and his roommate, their whole thing is constantly talking about how they can trick and manipulate and lie to women in the ways to get them to sleep with them. That's yeah, and and the roommate's quirk, by the, the way, thing. is that he digs through women's trash to t- take their clothing. Yes. Which is yeah, funny. That's his, quirk. that's his quirky personality. Wow, what that's a the... silly goofball. Cool little goofy guy. Fuck, man. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, we didn't even talk about the the metrosexual, homosexual anger this film has. Oh, like, yeah. It, apparently, owning a dog is gay. <sighs> owning a dog and listening and liking women are both gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if there's one Which thing is bad. that's gay, you can't be, it's... You can't be gay. No homo. You know, I... Yeah, 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 you better not... Listen, connecting and talking with women is super gay. <laughs> Don't do it. Never do it. No no straight guy ever does man, it. Man, is it gay to touch a woman? The, hey... Lovingly. Lovingly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, is it is it gay to cuddle a lady after having sex? Yes, absolutely. Oh, God, they they have a couple of scenes of him trying to cuddle her... Well, like, not him trying to cuddle her, sorry. Her trying to cuddle She's him. She's trying to cuddle him, and that's And gay. him being, yeah. like, grossed out and annoyed by it, and emphasized by the fact that then he had to, like, oh, okay, well, she's really gonna, like, make this a thing, huh? And so he has to pretend to cuddle her, and that puts his face in the, ew, gross, doggy toy, which... Once again, how you said that he's the architect yeah. of his own disaster all the time. Just move the fucking toy. Move the fucking toy! <laughs> he has a toy in his face. You know what a solution to that is? You have a fucking hand, bro. 
grab the toy and yeah, but move it. He couldn't move the toy because he was moving his hands as far behind his back as possible, so he didn't accidentally touch a woman. Ugh. You don't understand, because then that would be seen as cuddling, and that's gay. <laughs> And every every guy that's bad, like that's why the do- so there's a doctor guy also. There's yeah. he's a pediatric surgeon who's also after this woman, and he's bad because you see he basically dresses like Fred from Scooby Doo. Yeah, he's just Fred. Yeah. So I mean that's ooh gross. Ew. He cares about his appearance. Ew. Ew. Ugh, he cares about his appearance and doesn't peep on women from across the street. Oh. Yeah. Uh, except he does. Except he which does. Is the other message but I don't understand. But that's bad. You see, he's, it's bad that he did it. It's really bad that he did it. Yeah, he did it's it. Also... But not, not our main character and his roommate. No. Yeah, no. And, I, and of course, like the guys in the dog park. Because again, so loving women. Or owning pets and showing any care to pets is gay. Yes. Which yeah. they show explicitly when he goes to the dog park and it's filled with gay couples that are very upset that he's there without a dog and they're being busybodies and pushy because that's how gay people are. Yeah. <sighs> this movie kind of sucks. I, 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 I wouldn't say kind of, actually. No, Let me revise no, that. yeah. Yeah, revise sucks. that, please. This movie fucking sucks so hard. Okay, so as the film moves on, we're not talking, like, specifics. It's such a whatever We've already plot. done the whole movie. We've talked it's about such a everything whatever plot. that happens. Basically, but as the film continues, Charlie... Did I mention that Charlie has a Star Lord fucking jacket, which is the I was most going to, incel yeah, I was, fucking thing? When, when I was talking Star about Lord was how big. everyone was wearing all of like all of the villain characters are all yeah. just like metrosexual, basically. Like it's like oh guys that dress nice, oh they wear scarves or like a hat or the accessorize. Oh gross! Like it does that. Then it also has our main character, like you said. Yeah. Dressing as Star Lord. He's Star Lord. This is pre Guardians of the Galaxy. By a lot. This but but it's definitely yeah. in Cell Star Lord. Mm hmm. Yeah. He anyway. There's a bomber jacket in the same way. And like. Oh, God. The, the, the only thing that would make him less likable than he is now is if he also wore aviators. <laughs> and voiced Mario. Yeah, and voiced Mario. <laughs> I'm Mario. That's my voice. It, let's a go. Let's a go. Hello, Mario. <laughs> I'm Luigi. <laughs> now, Charlie Day does a good job. But the point is, um, what I was getting to is that as the film goes on, Charlie becomes more and more dog-like. Not yes. in, in mannerism. Yeah. In mannerism. Yeah. So yeah. he removes his his destroyed Star-Lord coat. And he gets fleas, and he chews on dogs' toys, and he plays fetch, and he runs around the house. Yeah. And he starts, like, at times he crawls on all fours. And it starts to get really fucking weird when Daphne uh, asks him to go to bed, because they're going to fuck. Oh, God. With, oh. with his With his oh. penis. And, and <laughs> he gets on bed and he's, and she's like, all right, let's do this. He's like, wait a minute. And he calls the dog. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on, boy. Yeah. And, and then boy. they start wrestling on the bed while he's in his boxers. And you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Does he want to bang that dog? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? And she's like, hey, hold on. Bang that dog. Get that dog off the bed. Oh, yeah, my bad. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. Like, what? There's nothing <laughs> that he does that isn't just creepy. Because the minute that he starts liking the dog, he starts liking the dog. But he likes it too much. In a, exactly. He, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, he likes everything that he does. He does in ways that are not human. <laughs> right? Like. 
But, like, he gets fleas. He starts scratching at his ear, like, behind his ear like a dog. I, well, I think the... I mean, one of the, the creepiest things... I, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, when he gets the fleas, they take him to the vet, which is yeah. supposed to be a joke. But I'm like, is it a joke? Is he just a dog now? What is happening? Nothing in this film plays as a joke. It's all played so straight, and everyone... I would normally like that. I like a lot of dry humor, but this is... It's too stupid. It's too, it's too dumb, stupid, and it's too and, mean. It's all and then af- mean. After the bed incident, he takes the dog out because, like, the whole mood's ruined. Yeah, because he keeps looking at the dog during sex, and then he like loses and his boner, and giggling and stuff, and giggling. Well, I don't and he's think like, he's even losing his boner. He's not losing his boner. That's the thing. Oh, he's just looking oh, at the dog and oh, giggling, okay. and then she stops him. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's even they're... worse. That's even worse. I don't think that's I don't think that's what happened, dude. No, she was like stopping it because she's, why are you looking away from me as he's Fuck. looking lovingly at the dog while they're having sex? Yeah, no, that's worse than what I thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it sucks. But like right after that, when she's like, "Hey, come on." Fuck this! I'm I'm just gonna go walk my dog if you're if you're not in the mood. And he's like, oh no, I'll walk the dog for you. It's fine. And then he takes the dog out on a date. Yeah, for like like immediately after the well, the sex scene that failed. And he takes the dog for like six hours. Six hours to the park, to a clothing store to try out various dog costumes. Like there's time changes and stuff. Like they're like yeah. day and night and stuff change to during get pizza? this whole thing. Yeah. They, the only thing they didn't do was eat spaghetti and then meet in the middle, right? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it sounds that sounds funny. There's like a, it could be interesting, but he does everything again. Like everything's done in just this weird gross stilted alien way where this dude is just so wrong about everything yeah yeah because again like it's it's one thing to be like wait now i realize that maybe she's not the one that i like and maybe she's got her own flaws and i actually really like dogs okay that's a fine thing to do but it's like we said staring at the dog while you're having sex and being like <sighs> ooh, ooh, hey dog ooh, it's the doggy like yeah that's fucking no weird. yeah that's, no 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 don't do that like and it's one thing when adam sandler does it and it's done as a gross out comedy and i'm not saying that's good but at least there's an understanding that that's for gross out humor but this, yeah, this isn't is just done weird. that way no this is yeah. just this is done as it's supposed to be like just like general character arc of oh see he likes the dog now see this is how people like dogs and it's like no this is not how people like dogs movie 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 i have some questions why do you think this is how people like dogs and it gets creepy to the point of because he stole her panties before and now the dog chews up her slippers and so then when he basically, like, breaks up with her because he's way too into the dog, he takes a memento, which is her chewed-up slipper. Yeah, that's fucking weird, too. So I guess that he can, like, sniff both her feet and the dog slop? I, I don't... It, that's real gross. I don't, I don't want to think about the implications of what that's trying to do. I don't think the feet was the important part, though. I think it was just that the dog had chewed it. I yeah, think and I don't it. know if that's better or worse. Most of the time it would be the feet on our podcast, and I would say, you know, that's pretty bad. But I think they upped it. I think it's worse. <laughs> I, think they found it, I think they found a way to be worse, boys. I didn't want it to be worse. <laughs> when I said no more feet stuff, I didn't mean make it dog stuff instead. <laughs> Oh, like, man. Why are all the directors putting their weird shit in oh, these man. movies, man? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it, it had to be a fetish thing. There's no other reason why it would be there, right? Like, uh, not in this way, anyways. If it wasn't a fetish thing, it would be played as a joke. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. get this film. Daphne's mad at Charlie for wanting to hang out with her dog and not yeah. her. So they break up, and then Charlie gets real depressed because he can't, like, hang out with that dog anymore. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't give a shit about her. No. God, why would no. you? And he won't if come he out of his room. If about a woman, that would make him not straight. Yeah, that would He's make him very gay. straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can't care about him. Please. He's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The straightest so... man alive. Absolutely hates women. <laughs> <laughs> that's the film i don't that's what it yeah. says that's, that's what it says yeah so but he's so depressed he won't leave his room and he's hung up a bunch of dog posters around his room like they were boy bands in the 90s yeah and he's doing weird shit so his roommate calls an intervention with all of the people from the coffee shop. We forgot to mention that he's a barista at a coffee shop. Which is a, is a plot the... that goes around the whole time. Or the owner? I don't know. I think he's One the of them? owner. I think he might be the owner, but they don't... Maybe his it's... parents also died in the Hindenburg. Like the <laughs> other fucking movie. I forget like, which I one don't... that was. It's really weird because they never really say what he does. And he obviously is... No. He's living in, like, this tiny little loft with this other guy. Like, it doesn't mm-hmm. seem the like creeper. he... The other creeper. Own... Yes. It doesn't seem like he owns a big business kind of thing, like a successful business. But they also have him, like, in a meeting with a guy who's got stir sticks... Yeah, I don't know what that was how about. How to use better yeah. stir sticks for his business, but like you said, they make it kind of seem like he's just the barista. So I don't. Well, I don't know. It's because he spends I... most of the movie trying to come up with a brew of fancy coffee for his cafe, so people will start going there. Because he mm-hmm. just gives away coffee to the locals, so he doesn't have any money. Yeah, there's and, and then two they spend old guys that come in and. Yeah, yeah. there's two older gentlemen, but they spend the whole movie bitching about how expensive coffee is and how nobody mm-hmm. likes to drink the expensive good coffee. Yeah. And then the end of the film is him just putting fucking instant coffee in a cup mm-hmm. and with hot water, and the old guys be like, whoa, this is the best shit I've ever had. It's so good. Wow, you finally nailed coffee. Nobody was going to pay five bucks for a pile of shit Ethiopian brew, but this fucking crystal in the, this m- Folgers m- crystals holy shit oh, man. man that's the good mm-hmm. shit like god they have an axe to grind about coffee and i don't know why this is Just some weird worst social people. commentary stuff i guess but i don't know what it's trying to say no anyways the the dog breaks out of daphne's house which is, I don't think, the first time that's happened. And gets lost in the rain, yeah. I think. Or or something, or... Was yeah, Charlie, lost in the rain. Gets yeah. lost in the rain. So, Charlie uh, gets a call from Daphne. She's like, oh my god, he's gone. Oh, jeez, I need someone to come help me, and you're the only person I know. My ex... Because you really want to fuck this dog, I guess. Yeah, well... So they meet up and Get they with go. Me, dog fucker, let's go find. They go it. looking around town <laughs> for every place that the dog has been, and they can't mm-hmm. find him. And then they eventually go to the New York Pizza Parlor. Yeah, and that's where they finally find the baby doll, and and they have a very oh, God, romantic he got a tattoo moment. Tattoo of the dog. No, he Didn't drew it in marker. It's not a real tattoo. He drew it in marker with his own hand. It's different. You can wash off. It's not. It's not. I don't want to fuck that dog. Uh, oh, it's so weird. It's so <laughs> weird. It's the... it, and the thing is, is that sounds fine. Like, you could do a joke about him being way too obsessed with the dog. But they make it so that he wants to fuck the dog. Which See, is that's really the weird. Yeah. That's the problem. It's like, why did you make it... How did you... 
how did you do this, director? How did you look at this and go, ah, I've got a very funny joke. Man tries to get with woman through her dog, ends up liking the dog more. And you're like, oh, that's a good joke. And he's like, yeah. So he wants to fuck the dog. And you're like, wait. Wait, hold no, on. No, what? <laughs> hold on. Just, hold, yeah. just, hold, back up back two steps. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You had something. What What do you mean the dog? Well, yeah. I mean, he, he wants the woman. And now he wants the dog. And you're like, yeah, okay. And he's like, yeah, like wants the dog and you're like no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> why are no. you quotes around why are you that? saying that <laughs> yeah, why are there quotes around wants the dog stop putting quotes around things that shouldn't stop happen it. <laughs> don't don't put don't do that no he's like well no but, but he wants he wants the woman now he wants the dog no no stop <laughs> bad director bad <laughs> you hit her you hit them with the newspaper yeah yeah so Anyway, they they get back together, I guess, and now he has the dog mm-hmm. and the girl, and he's fucking them both, whatever, the end. And so, uh, this movie treats Daphne like a manic pixie dream girl that's going to get together with him and improve mm-hmm. his life and just do everything for him, hand and feet, and like... Well, he says that at the beginning. Yeah. Remember? Do you remember the line where he was like... So right at the beginning of the movie, he goes, well, I think that this is the girl of my dreams. You know, a woman that will make me better than I am. Mm -hmm. Like, women's job is to fucking fix him. He knows he's broken. (laughs) Any woman that gets with him has a fix-up job. It's not his job to improve. It's the woman's job to improve him. Does not paint a good light on the main character in any way, shape, or no. form. But they're the hero at the end of it somehow. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just... How are you this oblivious to what you have written is what I'm confused about. Mm-hmm. I, I, it doesn't you make have to sense live it. to me. You have to live it. That's why. This very much feels like just the director's views... Right onto the screen, honestly, in a lot of ways. Like, there's so many things about the way that it views women and relationships and, like, pets even that, oh my god. Like, this is a dude that has the, like, 40 rules of power on his wall. Yeah. Right? Remember that? That whole thing? Where it's like, never, never admit defeat. Like, (laughs) it's it's that. This dude calls himself an alpha. Absolutely. This is definitely the dude that goes on forums and complains about if women only like nice guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has that throughout the whole thing. And it's just so oblivious to that fact. Mm -hmm. Just right right over their heads. Like I said, I mean, it really, it really, really does. Like, the actor does a good job, even in a way, yeah. of him feeling like Dennis from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where he's just, women owe him, and he owes them nothing, less than nothing, and it's it's so yeah. creepy and wrong, and they don't realize it, they just think it's a funny quirk. <laughs> It's, it's funny. No, this dude's a psychopath. This dude's really creepy. I do have some good news about this. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. One, not only did it open in 120 theaters in Italy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also lost $2.4 million. Mm-hmm. And it killed the entire film studio. This is the only film they ever made. Zarko Films. Youch. So there is there is good news at the end of the rainbow for this. Yeah. That also yeah. might be why it's getting scrubbed from the internet. Phew. Yep. This this man also the director though sadly it did not totally kill his career because he has somehow done producing and directing of new horror movies and stuff including in the ABCs of Death, which was a bunch of mini horror films for each letter of the alphabet, he did D for Dogfight. Oh. But we already watched the most horrifying dog movie this man will ever make, so I think, I think we've already seen it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm that's... glad it killed the movie, but I'm sad that it didn't kill the man behind it. <laughs> Put it that, that way. That is that is fucking heavy petting. The 2007 instant rom com classic, an Italian wonder. Also, remember, I didn't say I wish that it killed this man's career. <laughs> just, oh no, yeah. <laughs> just uh, legally speaking, that was a joke. Uh, reda- yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. In Minecraft. He meant in Minecraft. In Minecraft, yes. Kill him in... Yeah, exactly. In Minecraft. We'll get yes. him on our server. <laughs> He's not allowed... We're we're doing an old patch before dogs, though. I don't <laughs> trust him. <laughs> let's let's rate, rate the dog. Yeah, let's rate let's the dog. Rate so, the Baby dog Doll. Movie. Baby Doll. Baby Doll is like... Oh, God. I'm I don't know what breed that what dog that... is. Yeah. It's like a spot, right? Like... White and black, like not pit bull. Yeah, but, I, I but wouldn't like say it's like a really, wishbone, really but it, it's one of yeah. It's I don't know. What it's like an in between a wishbone and a pit bull, something like that. Yeah, like I don't know what those dogs are, but there's like they're like short haired, you know, black and white kind of dog. Like I said, it's a little bit little bit wishbone. Mm-hmm. It's kind of trending towards a bigger dog, though. Like it's a it's a big dog. Uh, I think the dog does a good job. Uh, they they did uh, a lot of you know interesting camper takes and played ball yeah. and got pets and ate treats. We didn't even talk about the horse cock, uh, Chewy. Yeah, the, there is the horse cock in this. Yeah. But, uh, fuck that's story. way less, in- okay, we have to mention it now because you brought it up. Because, it, well, the thing is that people are going to be yes. enticed by that. Horse no, it's not good. Enticing. enticing is the thing. No, it's as, not As good. a sentence to say, you're like, wait, horse cock, that's what? <laughs> the horse cock? But all it is, it's just. It, it they, tickles your brain, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If there's one thing the horse cock does, it just lives in there. But. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's, it, anyway, he he buys a chewy. A while he he buys a rawhide chewy toy for it's the just dog. A rawhide toy. That's all too. it is. That all. Is. But it's it just had the only good joke in the whole movie games. for me. That was the only thing. The only good joke in the movie because like he's like, no, I need a really it's big a rawhide joke. chewy. And the guy behind the counter is just like, you a cop? <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Okay, that was that was funny. I'll give that you that. That was the only give... good joke. Not That's the horse true. cock joke. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. When he goes, are you a cop? Yeah, no, that the, was... Okay, the I are you a chuckle. cop always yes. gets me. Yeah. It's always funny. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. But th- then he just gets him a big chew toy, and he's like, what's this? Yeah, like, horse yeah. cock. Yeah, Which, and then they ruin the yeah, joke. Yeah, that's what those are. But, yeah. but uh, I think that... Baby doll is a very cute dog, gets good pets, uh, is very protective of Daphne trying to keep her away from shitty dudes like Charlie. Mm-hmm. But Baby Doll has a really big issue in that Baby Doll eventually likes Charlie. Yeah. And that is the problem. Baby Doll, you can do better. Mm-hmm. You have done wrong this day. And that yes. is going to drop your rating down to a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. No, I I can't do that to Baby Doll. It's not Baby Doll's fault. Baby Doll is in a bad relationship, and that can happen to anybody. Baby Doll is being manipulated. Yeah, Baby Doll is being manipulated. Baby Doll's on a rebound. You, this doesn't. This is not reflective of Baby Doll's true values. Okay, Baby Doll doesn't know. Baby Doll doesn't realize how bad it is. He's lying about it behind Baby Doll's back. You, he Mm, talks about him being. Like, look at the way that he treats all these women and stuff behind their backs. He's doing it behind Baby Doll. He does. He's just a bad man. And that's not on Baby Doll. It doesn't reflect her. That's 13 out of 10. Baby Doll's great. I mean, no, no problem with Baby Doll. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Charlie's a 0 out of 10. Fuck Charlie. Jesus Christ. This man... Yeah, he's on the sucks. Chevy Chase scale. He's somewhere there. I hate there. this man so fucking much. It was agonizing to watch this character. Yeah... Again, yep. I don't know if... I'm still uncertain as to whether or not this was a direction or an acting problem. Did the director tell him to act like this? No, just be the biggest chode that you can. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. We have to, to ask an Italian. 
They're the ones that are experts <laughs> on this film. They've seen it. Dude, please. I, I'm sorry to all Italian listeners. I just, as a <laughs> le- legal, legally rough cuts, uh, has to say that we like all Italians. Um, this is not representative of our views. We, our Italian listeners are great here. Let, I'm just, just give me one moment. I'm just checking something. Okay, we don't have any listeners in Italy. We're fucking good. Fuck them. <laughs> Zero views. Go to hell, Italians. You and your weird dog fetishes. <laughs> All right, we're good. Uh, I just All had right. to check. All right, never mind. We're we're not being listened to. It's it's fine. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to point out about Baby Doll is that Baby Doll eats a good pizza. So Baby Doll. Okay, I yeah, Baby Doll. That. I forgot about. They that. got like a good buck fifty New York Zon. Real that good was, fucking yeah, Zon. Yeah. 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 Uh, but that's it for this episode of Rough Cuts. Uh, don't watch this film. It's a pile of shit. Thank you for listening, everybody. <laughs> it's one of the most infuriating movies. It's not one of the worst, but man, it's just... This thing was fucking infuriating. <laughs> Make sure to check us out on social media, co-host, uh, Twitter, I guess, whatever. Mm-hmm. Also, check out our Patreon. That helps support the podcast, as well as our hosting fees and whatnot. And yeah, rough cuts. R U F F. Yeah, cuts. Yeah. Uh, and also, you can this email us if you have any rough. feedback. Roughcutscast at gmail dot com. Uh, I think I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. This fucking. I need to go chew ass. on some horse cock. See no, ya. you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta see a man. What are you a cop? <laughs> what are you a cop? <laughs> gotta, gotta go see a man about some horse cock. <laughs> All I know is Daphne should have listened to the dog. It was trying to warn her. It was trying to warn her. Daphne, you should have listened to the dog. It was only trying to protect you. <laughs> All right. See you next time. See ya. It was trying to protect you. I'm talking huge. I want the 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 um, I want the Taj Mahal of dog chewies, right? I'm talking. I want the biggest goddamn dog uh, chew you got in the whole store. You a cop? <laughs>